Good day, my YouTube friends. My name is Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In this video, I'm going to show you what that RFI, that horrible sound when you transmit, and I was able to capture it, and uh, I want to share it with you guys. I've experienced this before and um, it has to do something with my mic input so I'm going to do an experiment I'm going to unwrap the toroid that's connected to my XLR microphone it's the uh, Heil PR40 microphone and I'm using the USB audio interface, the Focusrite Scarlet. I'm gonna test right here. Okay, check this out, guys. Uh, I'm using the Heil PR40 and um, this XLR cable here, I had this toroid uh, FT240-31. Okay. So that's what I've been using. I'm troubleshooting RF noise. All right. Um, I'm going to bring down the power back down a little bit. All right. You can see the um, Mercury Lux. So the toroid is removed. The only thing on the XLR is a ferret bead right here. Okay, a little squeaky there. So I'm gonna just gonna hang on to this. The toroid's right here. And uh, we're just gonna do a test. I'm going to try it with a monitor off. Amplifier's on. One, two, one, two three. One, two, one, three. Two. Okay, so I heard it with the monitor off, and I heard it in my headset. So I'm going to rewrap the. XLR in the toroid and then we're going to test it afterwards okay that is correct you're looking at my clock right over here it, it is just past midnight and uh, no, I don't know I can't sleep I want to troubleshoot this get this thing almost half fast done so I'm going to route this uh, XLR cable you know, XLRs are balanced line, so I still pick up interference. Let me get uh, some tie wraps because I need to tie this secure. Zip tie. This is the first pass through. There's going to be a lot of kinks because there's uh, these XLR cable was already wrapped around the, the toroid. Huh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that through. One more. Okay. 
it's going through. Now, this is what I've got. I can't put any more in there. You know, I can move the toroid up, but there's no more room to push this XLR cable through. It's it's maxed. Let me count how many I have. This is the first one. One, two, three. I get 14 turns on this. It's going to be tight. Get that XLR in there. <laughs> so it can rest on the donut. Well, I decided to go ahead and add one more but this time with a ferrite and so the XLR is going to fit right there so here comes the audio the fire the frequency has been clear monitor is turned off here and you can watch the power output down here Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. Hello, testing one, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. Monitors coming on. One, one two, two, three, 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 three two, two, one. one. This, this is, is November, November four. four. Victor, Victor Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Romeo. Romeo. Monitors off. This is November 4. Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Testing. Test complete. Okay. So. I think I fixed it. I, I did not hear. Any. RFI. Coming through my headset. And. Uh, you saw it. I increased the power. I think I was putting it, pushing about 1,000. Uh, one kilowatt of power that's what it was so you get a uh, toroid uh, particularly the ones that are in the HF band FT240-31 that's the one that I'm using I took two cores two, two toroids put them together put electrical tape around them and then wrap the XLR cable as much as you can but i'm satisfied i resolved it if you like my content please consider to click on that subscribe button leave me a like a comment and also that notification bell so you're notified when i post new videos or even go live streaming 73s i'm going to bed my name is darren my call sign n4 vfr see you next video